those viewers from the West Coast in that Portland-Seattle game. We have 9.47 to go in this first half of play, and the Milwaukee Bucks right now lead remarkably 43-26 over the Denver Nuggets as they have outscored the Denver Nuggets 25 of the last 29 points. And Keith Erickson, Milwaukee with a new lease on life and play like a champion. Oh, you better believe it. There's some intensive play going on inside. Jack and Madden not call that. It. That's right. Good call by Jack Madden. There's Bobby Jones going up with the ball underneath. And let's watch as the rebound comes off. Anthony Roberts touched that ball when he was on the rim. So the Milwaukee Bucks, a real story in these NBA playoffs. A lot of people didn't figure they'd even win the miniseries with Phoenix. And now they're in game six, and they are playing very, very well. 43-29. David Thompson blocks that. English, Gianelli blocked by Bobby Jones. Gianelli won't give up. Tremendous intensity out there. And so it's 45-26 with eight minutes and 59 seconds to go before halftime. We welcome our viewers from the West Coast area. We have four minutes and 33 seconds to go in this first half of play. The Milwaukee Bucks are leading by nine, 49 to 40, making 11 as Brian Winters has scored. The Bucks jumping out. All of a sudden, Denver fighting back into this game, and now the Bucks are making a move again. With that tremendous passing ability, the Bucks have these young Bucks getting the ball into Ernie Grunfeld after three beautiful passes. Along with Keith Erickson, this is Gary Bender. As a crowd here, a sellout crowd, Larry Brown, very uneasy. He doesn't want to have to return to Denver on Wednesday night for that seventh and final game. Well, you can say that again. He's very unhappy to be here right now, I guarantee you. 51 to 40. They sold out this game in one and a half hours yesterday morning. They had four lines of fans outside of the ticket booth. Didn't take long to have another sellout here. Marcus Johnson. Marcus Johnson now makes it 53 to 40 with 3.48 to go in the first half. And we welcome our viewers from that Portland-Seattle game. We're here in Milwaukee. The Bucks in the white and the dark uniforms at Ember Nuggets. And the Bucks leading at the 5.30 mark of this third period, 75 to 59. They've led by as many as 20 points in this third period. Ryan Winner. Milwaukee just not letting up in this game. Coming out in the second half with a 15-point lead. They're still keeping the pressure on this Denver Nugget team. Denver not getting the balance scoring. It's been primarily David Thompson. Here comes Winters. Off to Quinn Buckner for the easy two. And it's Bedlam here at the arena. A sellout crowd. They love it as the Milwaukee Bucks have a 20-point lead once again. 79-59. With four minutes, 59 seconds left to be played in this third period. And we have a 98-71 score here as we welcome our fans from that game out west between Portland and Seattle. As we've had a timeout called, the Milwaukee Bucks continue to pour it on the Denver Nuggets. They lead 98-71. They have five men in double figures. They have gotten great intensity out of a team that everybody wrote off Friday night, and now looks like they may even up this best-of-seven series at three each. 